the two other thriller recommendation videos that I'll leave linked down below if you guys want to check those out because I obviously won't be mentioning the books that I mentioned in those videos in this video. So if you guys are interested in more recommendations, then go check those out as well. I love you. More. You're the best mom ever. Thank you. Okay, bye. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, you are. It's Jay, and today I am bringing to you my thriller recommendation video. I've been doing this on my channel every year for the past two years, so this is round three. So I picked out five books to share with you guys, so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> The first recommendation that I'm going to give is Bonfire by Kristen Ryder. The book follows Abby Williams who leaves her hometown of Barnes behind to go live a fancy life in Chicago as an environmentalist lawyer. She ends up coming back to Barnes to work on a case about a company from Barnes called Optimal Plastic. When she begins her investigation, she soon realizes that there are a lot of connections between Optimal and a girl who went missing a very long time ago named Kate C. Mitchell. The connections lead her to a ritual called the game and she soon realizes that she doesn't exactly know who she can trust in the town. This is Kristen's debut novel and it 100% does not feel like a debut novel right from the very very beginning. I was like instantly drawn into the story and I wanted to know what happened to Casey so badly. It's such a page turner and I just definitely highly recommend it as a thriller or if you really like mysteries I think this is a great great book. The next thriller recommendation I have is called Blood Sisters and this is by Jane Corey. It follows three young schoolgirls who are on their way to school and then before the very first bell, one of them ends up dead. Fifteen years later and desperate for money, Allison accepts a job to teach art at a local prison. Kitty is living in a group home with absolutely no memory of the accident that happened fifteen years ago. As Allison begins working at the prison, she quickly realizes that she's being watched and somebody is out for their revenge. I think that this book is perfect if you're really into like a slow build suspense thriller novel because it took a very very long time Time for anything to actually happen but it was definitely necessary for the buildup of the story and how everything unfolded in the end. The story is told from Allison and Kitty's perspectives but they're woven in together so perfectly. There are definitely some trigger warnings for cutting in rape but before you go into this book just be aware of those because it is a little bit graphic in my opinion and I'm usually not bothered by that kind of thing so I feel like it could definitely trigger a lot of people but it is just such a good thriller novel in my opinion because honestly the entire time I was sitting there needing to know the truth about what happened that day and everything that unfolded just the way that it was done was just so perfectly executed in my opinion so this is my second recommendation you guys should definitely definitely check it out. The next thriller recommendation that I have is for a YA thriller because I know I usually recommend a lot of the more like dark thrillers so I figured this one is a little more happier if a thriller can be happy but it's a lot less dark than the other ones and it is All of This Is True by Lagia de Penaflor. This follows four teenagers who become obsessed with a book by a very famous author so they hatch this plan in order to become friends with her and start to hang out with her. They quickly become friends with the author. Her name is Fatima Rowe but they don't realize that Fatima is actually manipulating them in order to write a story based off of their lives and that's when a very devastating secret comes to light and their lives change forever. So like I said this is a very tame thriller in my opinion. There's not really anything super super dark so I think it's good for people who don't really like the edgier side of thrillers if that makes sense. I loved this book right from the beginning I was instantly hooked. I actually have a review up of it on my channel so if you guys want to see like my full thoughts on the book I'll leave it linked down below but it's also told in like mixed media format which I am a huge fan of if you guys watched my previous thriller recommendations videos you know that I absolutely loved the night film by Marisha Purcell which is also told with mixed media but there's like emails and letters and different kind of things like that in the book that I just find so fascinating. I think it's also really unique because it's told through the novel that Fatima is writing 
but also it's told from the perspective of the four teenagers so it's kind of like interwoven into one huge thing and it's just done so well in my opinion. I think it's a super unique thriller novel so I definitely recommend this one as well. Next thriller novel I have is called Friend Request and this is by Laura Marshall. It follows two women, Maria Weston and Louise Williams, who were friends a very long time ago when they were in high school and that's when Louise receives a friend request on Facebook from Maria. The only problem is is that Maria died a very long time ago and Louise actually played a role in her death. Now scared that she could lose everything that she's worked so hard to gain, Louise needs to figure out who's behind this Facebook profile and figure out what they actually know about that night. Again, this is a book that had me hooked right from the first page. I was instantly drawn in. I think that the writing style is so simple that it made it so easy to read. I could not stop turning the pages. It's told in alternating timelines, so it takes place in 1989 when Maria was still alive, but but it also takes place in 2016 when Louise receives this Facebook notification and the way that it's slowly interwoven into present day is really interesting because you kind of get little bits and pieces of what actually happened that night until you get the huge picture of what actually happened. You have so many theories about what happened that night which Honestly, all of mine turned out to be wrong. In the end, Louise is such an unreliable narrator, and personally, I just love that in a thriller. Honestly, every single book that I've recommended so far has an unreliable narrator, so I mean, I guess it's kind of obvious that that's what I'm into, but I just found her story so intriguing because you're so convinced about what happened that night, and then just things happen, and you're whole thought process changes completely and it's just so well done. I honestly really really think that you guys need to read this one because I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. Honestly I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about all four of the ones that I've talked about so far so definitely check it out. The final thriller book that I have is actually more popular than I usually promote on this channel but it is A Stranger in the House by Sherry LaPena. This book follows Tom Krupp who one night arrives home to discover that his wife Karen is missing. The police arrive at his house and inform Tom that his wife has actually been in an accident and that she's at the hospital right now. Karen doesn't remember anything from the night or the accident but a man is now dead and the police think that she is somehow involved. Karen insists that she can absolutely not be involved in any way but Tom is not so sure especially because Karen's best friend is whispering little things in his ears saying that she might not be as innocent as she states. I originally picked this book up because I absolutely loved The Couple Next Door by Sherry LaPena and I was hoping that it would be similar to that kind of style and I was definitely very happy to realize that it was. I just love her writing style and how suspenseful it is and how you just need to know what happened and you're so intrigued by every single character and you have all these situations in your head that you think are the truth but then they end up being falsified and your just whole thought processes changes throughout the entire book. It is just such a wild roller coaster. Again, very unreliable narrator which I am into so I was a very very much into this book while I was reading it. I'm pretty sure I read it in like one or two sittings because I just needed to know what happened. I did not see the ending coming as well and usually if I cannot tell an ending of a book I'm a very happy camper. I'm pretty sure for all five of these books I didn't see the ending coming which is why I ended up loving it so much because I'm just not a fan when I know what's going to happen. I have heard a lot of mixed things about this book. Some people really hate it but then other people are like super into it. I was one of the people who were super into it so if you guys want check it out. If not then don't, but I highly recommend. Guys, so those were my five thriller books for this time around. Let me know down below if you've read any of them or if you have any recommendations for thrillers that I should read because I just absolutely love them so much. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!